Yes, yes, my people, what's going on? Welcome back to the kingdom. So today it's about reptiles, but we've got a special surprise for my brother Tyler. It was his birthday. Before then, I've got my guy, Collective Constrictors. He's come down. I'm gonna go through a couple of the animals, as you lot know. I had my first clutch the other day. My first clutch, double recessive to double recessive. So we had the hypo clown to the super pastel ultramo hypo. It's gonna be a crazy one, hopefully. She had 10, so I had 10 on my first clutch. I don't wanna do too much talking, too much rapping. My guy Collective Constrictors is downstairs. Let me go and let him in and let's get straight to it because we're gonna examine the female that just had the clutch and he's gonna talk to me about putting weight back on her, getting her back up to size and go through some of my other females as well that might be gravid. You know I'm new to this, so let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So before I start, I got some blue roll, boxer gloves as well, LNR supplies. First of all, I gotta shout them out. Make sure you lot hit them up. They hit me up on Instagram. They said, yo, we got the supplies for you. He sent me down a load of blue rolls and stuff like that. So make sure you lot check them out and let's get straight into it. My brother Collective's here. Boom, 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 let's go. Pull her out and see how she's looking. So yeah, she just laid the other day. She had 10, you know, bro. That's a lot, isn't it? Two first time breeder or? No, no, no. So I got a big up Aussie as well. I got her all the way from the States, uh, Aussie Boyd. So make sure you lot hit him up. A proven breeder, but obviously, yeah, she's definitely a proven breeder in England now as well. How's she feeling? How? Still feeling like a good weight. Still feeling, let me, let me, let me, how much you weigh now? I need to put her on the scales, in fact. What do you reckon to do? Just feed her up now? Yes, start with a how long should, smaller meal. So how long should I, how long should I start? Like, when should I start to feed her? Because it's been about, I would say it's coming up to about four days since she's had the clutch. Just put her back into your normal routine. And do you think she will eat first or do yeah, I have to no, do anything? I'm confident she'll eat first. Just a smaller than what you usually, usually do. Usually do. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, yeah. All right, cool. Well, yeah, that's her. That's the female that had the clutch. So you lot keep up to date with that clutch. That went to the hypo clown. Go on, who do you want to see? Double head puzzle clown. Feisty fly. Yeah, yeah. Have a feel of her and tell me what you think. She's been paired already. We paired her to the puzzle. I don't think just yet. So do I keep pairing her or yeah. not? 100% I keep pairing. Until yeah. Promising time. Okay, cool. Well, I was with you when you picked up the hurricane, wasn't I? Go on, take so a look at the hurricane, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. He was with me when we went to Tony Hersey to pick up the hurricane. Big snake, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, go and get her out. How's she looking now? Shanky. It's hard to say, but I'd keep pairing. You keep pairing, yeah? yeah? Keep pairing <clears throat> so when, because I've seen some people's pairings still now, and some people are having eggs. So what is that situation? How does that work? Is it different seasons for Snakes different females? Just go at a different time. It's a very long season, I'm finding. Okay, cool. And what's the sort of latest that a female's gone for you? Because I thought the ones that ain't gone, basically, they're not going to go. Last year, my last eggs were September. And when would that, when would, when would that last pairing have been? Two months before. All right, cool. I was pairing in November. Mm -hmm. and I'm still pairing now. Yeah, yeah, Everyone, yeah. Everyone's different. Everyone's yeah, yeah, yeah. Different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the hurricane female. She's gone to the pas uh, the pastel puzzle het hypo. Look at the DG. The look at the desert goes below her. It looks like there's an egg by the tail. Look, go. Look at the back end. Yeah, I don't think you're too far away from this one. All right, yeah, we'll leave her alone anyway. So that one was the Pastel Desert Ghost female to the Pastel Puzzle Het Hypo. You're not messing about, are you? You know how we do. So where would you think this one's at? See how she's quite chunky at the base of the tail? That's yeah. always a promising sign. And more, a promising sign for what? To, to, for it to lay or? Yeah, to be close to laying usually. Usually, yeah? Yeah. All right. So look, you see the ridge now come at the top here. You see how ridgy it is all the way around. I would love this to go because she's been paired to the hypo clown. So I'm hoping to make quad heads. It's gonna be 100% head clown, 100% um, head pied, 100% head hypo, and then it's post head desert ghost. But what I'm gonna do, all my snakes, I'm gonna have tested, sex tested, and if there's any post heads. I will have them shed tested as well for the genes that can be shed tested because I feel like it's something different because when you pick up a snake, don't really get no paper, no certificate or nothing to say it is definitely a male or it is definitely this or this. So my snakes that are going to be in circ that's going to be circulating, that I will be like sold to people and customers, they will be coming with whatever they need, whether it be a, uh, a, sh a, sh a shed test from it being a pos het desert ghost. So you should never get pos hets from the central kingdom unless this is a gene that they can't test for. Now, I want to take this seriously and I think people when they trade my animals I think it would be something to 
keep up a caliber of when you get an animal, whether it be from you or whatever, what you've got from me, you sell that with the certificate and setting stuff as well. as well. And yeah, setting it higher, man. But yeah, let's get into a couple more. We'll get the boa out as well. And then I need to get ready to go to the restaurant. All right. So he's been the talk of the town for a minute. Mr. DG Clown, isn't it? Mate, who are you looking at like that? Very clean snake as well, isn't it? Cheeky. Yeah, man, and this is produced by my guy, Rattle Snacks. Rattle Snacks. Let us get a room tour, bruv. Come on, my brother. Let us get a room tour, cuz. You get me? Everyone wants to see what's cooking up in that room. And I'm liking that zebra you got cooking up as well, man. But yeah, should we go and get out of the boa? Sounds good to me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So we're here. We're in the boa room right now. We've got her out. We've got an IMG female out. Look at the iridescent on her. Oh, my days. Go on, give them a little information. What do you like about the IMG, my bro? Same as everyone else, the iridescence, really. Is it the iridescence? Crazy. Even if you don't like look snacks, at that. Like an IMG. So yeah, that's my IMG female. She weighs about 4kg. And look, her tail, since she's been little, she's had the maddest like tail print as well. So we saying, do you want to get the bowlings out? Yeah, let's get the bowlings out. Do you want to get the bowlings, yeah? Go on, put her away, we'll get the bowlings. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, so she's got, well, she's pretty much gone through her OCC because she's pretty much black, not too much red anymore. Last time I was here, she was completely red. Yeah, I'm glad to be a part of the bowlings club, even though nobody um, with bowlings hits me up. <laughs> Anyone with a bowling's message me, man. I'm here. I want to learn. But yeah, bro. So what do you think since you've seen them? You've seen them since they've been right, babies, really bro. Well. Yeah? Yeah, growing really well. Slow growing, but she's definitely growing since mm -hmm. I've last season. I don't really hound them with food like that. I just let them do their thing, man. I don't man. think you can with these either. No, no, you, you can, bro. Their feeding response is um, second to none. They're, 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 they eat. Do you know what I'm saying? But like with these especially, I like to resort back to the wild a bit. Like, would it be eating every day in the wild? Oh, I reckon. They're quite a cool snake, aren't they, temperature-wise? Yeah, 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 yeah. So at night, um, at night, his tank will go as low as like 22 degrees. So that must slow the metabolism down low. So Definitely. They probably don't eat that much. That's what I'm saying, yeah. In the wild, they probably don't. But yeah, we would have got Balmain out, but he's in shed right now. Oh well, yeah, that's the Bolines. Obviously, we had to do a little update. Enough of that. Let's get into the surprise for my guy, Apex. We're so going down to Mayfair. Sheesh restaurant. Did I say it right? Sheesh, sheesh. Anyway, sheesh restaurant, some lamb chops. And he's got his surprise, let's go. So yes, we're on the way down to Apex now. You don't know he's got this gift right now. So we're on the way down there, and surprise him with his new gift. Let's go. Yes, so we're here. Well, we're extremely late and everybody's drunk right now already. We did have the surprise in stock for him, but obviously right now, all the men them are drunk and stuff like that. So I don't know if it's surprise time, but we thought, yeah, let's finish the vlog. Let's go and check the man them anyway. All right, so this is where we're at right now. For all the people that are watching from around the world, it's a bit of central London for you lot. Bit of sightseeing quickly. Let's make our way back. You don't, you don't deserve a vlog. How come you're not letting me in your birthday, cuz? Well, I've come all the way down. Here, my G. Hey, I'm all the way down there, my G. I'm all the way down there, and you would and you wouldn't let me come to the you birthday. Didn't come out about your ID. You know come to celebrate my bridging. No reptiles, no <laughs> reptiles allowed in this premises. Loose. Alright, cuz, listen. Hey, listen yeah. Telling you right now, <laughs> cuz. It went pee tongue anyway, you lot know. We didn't get let in uh, the place. I didn't have my ID. Yeah, man, this is mad. We're in flipping central London again. <laughs> Cuz, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, man. Another day with the kingdom. Let's go. Yeah. 